Hi, it's Five Doll Stars, and I'm here to share with you two really cool, brand new, unreleased AG books. I got these from someone that works for DK Publishers, the company that publishes American Girl books. They sent me an email asking if I wanted to review these two books before they came out, and of course I said yes. I'm super excited. They're coming out in early February, so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. The first book I have here is called The Story of America, Discover History with American Girl, and this is basically a walkthrough of the history behind all of the American Girl historical dolls that have ever been in the historical line, and it basically explains the inspiration behind their stories um, with the historical events that were going on in that time in American history. And I think it's super cool that they finally made this book. So I'll show you the back real quick. It's going to be sold for $12.99 in America. So let's take a look. The Story of America. Here it has the table of contents and it goes, it has an introduction, and then it goes through all of the historical dolls in chronological order. So here are all of the American Girl historical dolls. Let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. As of 2017 all the historical dolls that have ever existed and obviously a bunch of them are retired by now but that's okay because they're still in this book so here we start with Kaya and her year was 1764 as all of you know she is the Native American doll so it has a little background of her story about the doll and it has some of her items here and it has a little timeline here at the bottom, which is nice. This is Felicity. She is next in the timeline. Her year is 1774, and you can see she has her retired table and chair set in this beautiful tea outfit. Here's her and her friend Elizabeth during the American Revolution. And up next is Caroline Abbott. Her year is 1812. She was for the War of 1812, and she was released in 2012 to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the War of 1812. Next up is Josefina Montoya. Her year is 1824, and she is from New Mexico. Next is Cecile and Mary Grace. Their year was 1853 and they lived in New Orleans. And here it says, speak French with Cecile and Mary Grace. So it gives you a little bit of information about the language they would have spoken, which is super cool. They had that for Kaya too. Next up we have Kirsten or Kirsten, I'm pretty sure it's Kirsten. She was 1854 and she was of Swedish descent. Here is her St. Lucia outfit for Christmas. And see, she has all her really cool Scandinavian doll clothes and I really want a lot of those. I think they're so cool. Next up is Addie. She was from 1864 and she lived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Next is Samantha, who was from 1904. See, they have some of her old retired um, sets of her collection, and they have some of the new modern ones, which is cool, so they're combining them. Next we have Rebecca, who is from 1914. It says she is of Russian descent, and I actually didn't know that. So she has a little necklace here that says Russian heirloom. And she lived in New York City. Next is Kit, one of my personal favorites. She's from 1934 in the Great Depression.
Next is Molly from 1944, and she lived during World War II. Next is Mary Ellen, and she lived in 1954. Here it has her little TV set, and it gives a little background information about the TVs. It says, TV shows were in black and white in the 1950s. Color TVs became popular in the mid-1960s. So that's a pretty cool bit of information. Here we have Melody, who is from 1964, and has her awesome recording studio right there. She was during the Civil Rights Movement, as all of you know. Next we have Julie, who is our 70s doll. She is from 1974, and she lives in San Francisco, the ultimate hippie town. So that is the end because Julie is the last historical doll in the chronological order of the dolls. And here it has a glossary of some of the um, vocabulary words that are used throughout the book. And here we go. So that was The Story of America, a really cool, interesting book, and I'm super excited for this to come out. It's a hardcover, and it has really nice, it's their um, shiny pages, and it has really nice graphics and pictures and details. So I would totally recommend this book. The second book I have is a new American Girl dress-up sticker book which is so awesome. I'm really excited about this. It has more than 1,000 stickers, and this is a paperback book. It's really shiny on the front, and it is the same price as the history book. It is $12.99. It has all the Be Forever outfits, so all the stickers are in the back. And what you do, these are all the extra stickers, the small ones. What you do, you take these stickers off and you stick them where they appear in the book because there's a little silhouette here and you get to put the sticker of the outfit there which is really cool. Here it has the fancy historical outfits. Favorite things of the Be Forever dolls. Winter warmers of Be Forever. School time. Sweet dreams, so all the pajama outfits and accessories. So it has things like the hats and the vest and shoes and everything. And it also um, allows you to get a good peek at all of the American Girl outfits. So here we have a little plain scene and you can take any of the stickers and stick them on here and they are reusable. You can peel the stickers off and use them again and you can make your own little scene. Now we have Gabriella, who is the girl of the year for this year, and so it has all of her outfits. And now we have the Truly Me dolls in the spotlight, so it's all of the performance sets. Now we have the outdoor outfits. Sleepover fun, so all of the pajamas. Pretty extras. See, they have the rain coat outfit with the umbrella and little tote bags and purses and things. Now we have dress up fun, which is basically the Halloween costumes. Now we have winter style, which is like the cozy outfits and winter sports. And now here is another scene where you can put the stickers anywhere. And here we have the stickers. So you can see a lot of the stickers are incomplete because you have to put them together to make the full outfit. Here are all of the stickers. So there's a lot of them in the back here. And at the end, these are all the extra stickers that you can use to decorate the scenes. And in the back, it has a bunch of tiny little stickers. They're super small, but you can see if you look up close. Here, I'll try and focus it for you. If you look up close, it has a bunch of retired dolls too and they're super cute. They're just random little outfits and accessories. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun sticking them all over my doll room. So now, I am going to take some of the stickers out and stick them in the book so you can see how it works. 
let's get started. And just a warning, you do have to be careful um, taking these stickers out because even though they're durable, they can still rip easily. So you don't want to do that. So you take it and here's the silhouette and you just have to align it up. I'm going to do this really carefully and stick it on. There you go. And now I'm going to find the pants. Here I have completed Julie's complete outfit, her whole outfit. So you can put the shoes on separately, the pants, and the top, which is really cool. And it gives you the names of all of the outfit pieces. Now I think I'll do a Truly Me outfit. So let's see, I think I'll find the guitar and the knee-high boots. Let's see where those are. There we go, and I have the boots here. All right, looks kind of funny because it's um has the white background. It's not perfectly aligned, but that's okay. So yeah, that is basically the whole sticker book. I think this is a really cool idea and anyone of all ages will love this. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this myself and I'm going to use a lot of the extra stickers and put them around my doll room because I can, even if people think it's weird that my dolls would have pictures of themselves on their walls, but it's okay because I think they're so cute. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait until these come out so that everyone can take a look at them. I think they're super awesome and at a great price, and I would totally recommend them. See you later.